Welcome, uh, this is Dr. Hadi here. Uh, uh, dear students and students demand, today uh, we, will go, we will discuss uh, a question that uh, usually students ask. This question has already been discussed in one of my video that is classification of carbohydrate part one. But once again, I'm going to discuss this topic separate in a separate lecture, in a separate video of just five to six minutes. How in case of monosaccharide, how uh, an open chain monosaccharide is converted into a ring form. Dear students, we know very well that uh, a monosaccharides, a carbohydrate contain either a functional group aldehyde or ketone. So here I have just mentioned one monosaccharide with the structure, the formula C6H12O6, right? So this is a, uh, this is the structural formula and this is the molecular formula. You can call it glucose. So this is glucose. Okay, so the glucose. Now I'm going to tell you how this open structure is converted into a, a ring form. First, what is open structure? An open structure means that if you have carbon, 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 carbon like this. Okay, this is called open structure. If this first carbon is attached to the last carbon like this, C, C, C. First carbon, second, third carbon. If the first carbon make a bond with the last, this is now called a ring form. This is now called a, a ring form. So we will now today discuss how the monosaccharides make a ring form. In case of glucose, carbon number one will make a bond with carbon number five. If this is carbon number one, this is two, three, four, five. So this carbon will make a bond with the carbon number five how come to the topic here come to the board here <clears throat> i will once again write a structure it's carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three one two three four five six Fine, six CH two OH CH two H five. It contain H and it also contain OH. Fine, this carbon number four H OH. Carbon number three H OH. Carbon number two H OH. Carbon number one double bond. O and H. Fine. This is the open structure, um, not a ring, right? What will happen? For your convenience, I will write double bond O like this. And I will write C5. This is C5OH. I'll give color of red color to this. This is C5OH, fine. Now what will happen? That during ring formation, the oxygen is more electronegative, mean it, it can attract electrons of the pi bond because this is a sigma bond, this is a pi bond. So pi bond is actually electrons. So these electrons can be pulled towards the oxygen. So once the bond the electron come to the oxygen, this bond will disappear and the electrons will be given to the oxygen. As a result, oxygen will get a, a negative charge. Okay. The carbon, which was four valency, four bonds were there, two, three, four, but now the carbon is, is having three bonds. So the carbon has lost its electron. So in this case, the carbon will become a positive charge. So this, this is just one change, right? Electron shift towards oxygen, carbon become positive and oxygen become negative. This is the first point. 
Now what will happen? When it happens here, the carbon number 5, here is the OH, the oxygen will kick off this hydrogen in the form of H plus ion. So the hydrogen will be removed as a H plus means the electrons of the hydrogen will be left with oxygen and hydrogen will be kicked off without electrons so this will be h plus so and what will happen the electrons of the hydrogen will remain on the oxygen once again oxygen is very naughty atom it is uh, uh, highly electronegative so it will become negative once again just it was here so when this oxygen become negative the h plus will search some very good place that like this this is this hydrogen will come here to this o minus right so what will happen the hydrogen will be will come here because plus it is O, so it's very good affinity for the O to attach with hydrogen. So OH against the negative charge disappear because hydrogen came and other negative charge will disappear and become OH. Fine. This carbon, which is positively charged, has the affinity to, uh, to make a bond with oxygen, negative oxygen. So this carbon will make a bond with the oxygen. Finally, carbon number one is attached with carbon number 5 through the oxygen atom so this is a ring formation and we usually we write the this structure we usually write a structure like this C uh, C right C oh my god C okay and O and here yeah. Okay, and this is O and this is bond. Fine. Now here you can see at the C1 we get OH and here we got H. Remaining carbon are fine. Don't worry. H, OH, H, OH. All H, OH will be same as we discussed, right? H, OH, H, OH. Fine. Even at C5 you will find CH2. CH2OH everything will be same but what happened the C5 OH and the C1 double bond has been disturbed and this is what we call the ring form I hope you understand the ring formation how a glucose become a, a ring form from open structure to the ring form thank you see you bye bye